Hey everyone, welcome. In this video, I wanted to talk about legal variable names. So you can see I have a bunch of variables I am creating and they all have some variation of the word age. Do you need help advancing your coding skills? Check out my new program, Code Breakthrough. Code Breakthrough offers hands-on learning with Python and data structures, algorithms, and interview challenges. With a supportive community and regular new content, Code Breakthrough will help you get hired or advance your career. For a limited time launch special, use the link in the description to get 20% off your subscription. See you there! And now the very first thing you need to understand is that when we create a variable, we're pretty much free to name it whatever we want as long as we stick to some rules. However, it should make sense, right? So we don't want to call this yellow because yellow doesn't really... How does yellow equal 5 make any sense? You know, at least in this context, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. So the very first rule and this is just a very strong guideline, is to give your variables names that mean something. So when you see the variable name, you know what it is referring to. So when I say age, you know it's referring to the age of someone or something. So it's at least pretty good. So this here is a valid assignment. Age is a good variable name. But let's look at all these other examples and see if they work, and if so, why they work or why they do not work if they don't. So the very first one, age one, well, this actually is okay. And just to show you guys this, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to comment all these out just so it doesn't interrupt our program. And then at the end of our program, I'm just going to print the variable that we're working with. So right now we have age one and we're printing age one. Running this, you can see we get the value one, so it seems to be working. So that one is legal. All right, let's try this next one age two so we'll uncomment that and change this to age underscore two and run this and you can see we do in fact get the value two in the terminal so it is valid so you can use underscores and in fact it is recommended for multiple words so if you need a variable name but it, it needs to be a little bit more descriptive you might have multiple words which is exactly what we're doing in this example here so let's try that one age of user like so, running that, and we get seven. So both of these are good. This is good, and this is good. This style of using underscores to separate words, this is known as a convention. Conventions are just something that numerous developers have agreed upon, that this is the way it's going to be, and using underscores is just so common that everyone in Python just does it. You may see other conventions, for example, you might see age of user, However, that's not the convention we're going to follow, and for Python, it's recommended to use underscores. And yes, my phone is ringing, if you can hear it. Sorry, I just have this crazy stalker. I don't know what to do about it, guys. I'm, I'm a little scared, to be honest. All right, so we know these ones are good. Let's try this next one, age hyphen three. So we run this, and we actually get a syntax error. Cannot assign to operator. So maybe it thinks we're trying to assign to the minus operator or something. I'm not really sure what's going on here, but I do know that this is not good. So you cannot use hyphens in your variable names. This is bad. We don't want to do that. So we're going to comment that out so it doesn't ruin our code and move on to the next one. And that is starting with a number. Can you start a variable with a number? Let's try it. We'll just pass 4 age into here run and oh syntax error you cannot start a variable with a number so the rules are you can use numbers in your variables even in the middle or at the end but you cannot start with them so this is bad also known as not good <laughs> all right and then we have this one here which is actually age with a capital a so let's run that running this we get the value six so it seems to be working However, this is also not good because this is a style thing. You don't want to use a capital here for your variable. By convention, we keep variables lowercase. So although it does allow it, it is not recommended. And lastly, we have return is five and watch what happens when we do this. So we print return, running this, and we get a syntax error, invalid syntax. And the reason that is, is because return is actually a keyword. And you can see that by the syntax highlighting, it's not the same color as these other variables. So this is not good. All right, and I'll comment that out. 
So that is your introduction on proper variable names. To conclude, all you need to really do is stick to lowercase and underscores to separate words, and you can use numbers but only within it or at the end, not at the beginning. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys, and we'll try to stick to best practices with naming conventions and everything in the series. I'm actually really particular about that. So I want to make sure you guys are on the, the best track to becoming the, the top tier Python developer or just developer in general. And in order to do that, it's important to follow conventions. So we'll be doing that for the rest of this video series and stay tuned for the next video and subscribe.